Alright guys, it's Dr. Four, and I'm going to try and do a video on this figure. There's a lot to cover, but, um, well, maybe not too much. Anyway, but anyways, I'm going to try and do a review on him. So, uh, so yeah, I told you he was 12 inches tall. Is that big dude? Just for comparison. That's death all. Anyways, here's the three and three quarter inch Gandalf, which even on the screen you can't even see, but for an accurate representation, that's how big Gandalf is to this ring wraith. So if you have that, if you have a Gandalf figure or any three and three quarter inch figure, you have a good idea of how big this is. Accessory wise, um, it's a bit, it's a bit slim for accessories, but. It's a ring wraith, he doesn't need much. Come on. This one gets stuck from time to time. You do need to balance this guy. Anyways, uh, so here's the first accessory, and probably the most well known. This is the Morgul Blade, or the da Morgul Dagger. So there's a lot of nice detailing on this. You can see all that wear and tear and just. It's been like it was scraped up. It's been in a, many battles, but the hilt also nicely detailed and got a nice black handle. He does hold it pretty tightly. It's a pain getting the weapons in and out though, so I'm not gonna show that in his hand. But yeah, good weapon. And uh, another accessory is a removable sheath for the dagger. Bit bad, kind of. A little bit cheap plastic feeling, but oh well. And this other one, like I said, weapons are a pain to take out, so I'm not going to take it out. But um, here's the sword. Big sword. This one, mine is a bit warped. Yours might be like that too. But um, you know, plastic swords like that, they're easy to fix. All you need is a, is a hair dryer and a, in that fridge, but. That's what he looks like with the sword. Now he's right over here. Is there a way I can fix that? Hmm. Uh, how can I fix this? Um, yeah, crap. I don't know how to get rid of that glaring back. I'm gonna see if that. I'm gonna see if I can mess with the window a bit. Oh, crap. Oh, you know what? Screw it. I'm not dealing with that. But anyways, um, so all the fabric on here is made out of a real cloth. And down by the bottom of the cloak here, they put a uh, small amount of paint. Symbolized mud, and it does feel crusty down here, so it feels like he's actually been walking through mud. Dirt, and God, his robe's a bit dirty. Um, articulation on him. Uh, he's got a swivel at the head. You know? He's got a ball hinge shoulder. That's a good movement there. He has a bicep swivel. He has a hinge at the elbow. Swivel at the wrist. Swivel at the waist. Yeah. Um, ball hinged hips. So some good movement there. A ball... A hinge at the knee, yeah, that's just a regular hinge, and a hinge at the ankles. So, whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, uh, yeah, he de like I said, he does have some balancing issues, but you know, a bit when you buy big figures, you'll have that balancing problem. But anyways, um, see this? There's actual fabric underneath this armor. The armor is a bit loose, you know. Well, not like incredibly loose that it feels like it's going to fall off, but loose enough that it, that it has that realistic factor, you know, that the armor is sort of on, on your body, not a part of it. 
because a lot of times, you know, armor is sculpted in and it's like a part of the figure. This one, this one, it's not. But yeah, and this is a cool figure with the sword. It's hard to you can't keep it really keep his hand up because this is a heavy sword for him. But like there you go. So you can get a couple of good poses out of this guy. You might you might you might have better luck with the dagger than the sword. Might have better luck there. I know I did. But um uh, Yeah, and as far as I know this was made by Toy Biz. You know, same people who made my other Lord of the Rings figures I've showed you. So um yeah, there's really not a whole lot to cover on this thing. I did most of the box stuff in the in the unboxing video, so. So yeah, um, I guess this is Hoodstark 4 signing out.